Hey guys, I'm Sarah. I'm out geocaching today and uh, I'm at a park I've never been before, but it's very crowded. I'm actually after a, uh, a mystery geocache today. It's a, uh, see that on the map? And uh, the listed coordinates um, don't actually take me to the geocache. I have to get to the um, coordinates first and then um, I have to look at this historical marker and uh, do some math and you know, have some information on the historical marker that I use to do the, to do the math to figure out all this stuff in order to get the new coordinates for the actual geocache. So uh, stay with me and let's see what we can find. Here we are. And the moment I tell you that there's people around, there's not less many people around now, but here we go. still have a hike to do 0.4 miles, so. All right, here we are. It's been raining for weeks and weeks. It's nice to finally be out in some sunshine. Okay, you see the, the big question mark there? There's a, there's a smaller one there, but I'm not after it. I'm after the bigger one. We are almost there. Again, of course, this isn't where this isn't where the geocache is. It's where the coordinates will lead me to the information in which I have to use information to figure out the actual coordinates to the real geocache. So we are getting there. Looks like we have just arrived. All right, I gotta get out pen and paper, figure out some stuff here. Got a nice bench to sit on. Nice view. All right, this is the information I need. Do some figuring. Okay, I checked my new coordinates in the, the checker on the description of the geocache. So I got to put in the new waypoints. New waypoints. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the car and apparently this whole this whole part goes in a big circle or an oval. It's not a perfect oval, but I'm tired and I don't feel like hiking anymore. So uh, otherwise I would go full throttle and there's a parking spot really close to the geocache. Yeah, there's a parking area. And another, and another trailhead. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, stay with me and let's see what we can find. Okay, I'm at the... Fixing across the road to get back on that trail. There's a lot of people here, so... Let's see what we can do. Oh, well, cool. It's a water fountain and a place to refill your water bottle. That's wicked. I've never seen that before here at a park before. Seen them at a gym, but not here. It's neat. We are 170 feet away. Hello there. I thought the cache was around this tree. 
there were bees buzzing everywhere, so then I thought it was this thing. That's just a sweet memorial for someone's child. But we found it finally. Whew. Oh man. Ooh. That was crazy. There were like so many muggles going back and forth, so that was that was hard. Um, I don't know people I don't think they could tell what I was doing. I mean, I think I tried to pick the best time to go grab the geocache from where it was hidden. And as soon as I did, I turned around and um, several feet away, I don't know how many feet, within, I guess, yelling distance of the person, there were three girls coming. I'm like, oh, oh, they didn't, I hope they couldn't tell what I was doing, but. Just in case you guys wanted to see what I was doing on that bench, I got all the information from that landmark and you plug it all in and that, uh, you do all the math and you get A, B, C, D and you plug it into the new waypoints and you put it in your phone. So that's pretty much how you do the math. I love that kind of math. Of course, I got the answers marked out, but anyway, there it is. I post on Thursdays. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But I found it. This place is very packed, which I'm good, glad people are coming out and extra, if I could speak. <laughs> I post on Thursdays. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I, there, I thought there was a lady watching me and do it again. <laughs>